All righty. Whenever we're ready. I'm, I'm good. Here. You're good? Yeah. All right, Jordy. How was it coming back today and like hanging out with some of the old cast? And I think the best part is seeing the people for sure. Like seeing Aislinn and Monroe and Luke. Oh, it was the best feeling ever. Like, Alicia was there too. And also you and Luke spent so much time together on set. Mm -hmm. Brothers. Brothers. How was always. it like working with Luke? Like, oh, because he's like your older brother in that scenario. Was it like he that in is. real life too? Yeah, I mean, like we would totally like wrestle, kind of. Like I, you know, I'm giving some good like niggies or whatever those are called. Those are very um, important. <laughs> very important. No, we definitely have like a really good like friendship. Like even today, as soon as we saw each other, like it hasn't been a while since we've seen each other, but as soon as we do, we just like reconnect so immediately, and you can still feel that family vibe. And that, like, you feel like you need that energy on set, too. Oh, right? absolutely. Because, like, Adam and uh, Drew felt so close. Mm. Like, I always love their brother relationship, because I, I have an older brother, and I'm like, I believe mm -hmm. this. Um, how was it, like, playing Adam and having that whole FTM storyline, naturally? Mm. Uh, did you learn stuff through that? Like, how much did absolutely. you learn through Adam's character? A lot. I mean, a lot of it was personal, too, um, just to honestly be comfortable with yourself and know who you are and that's the most important thing um and you know obviously people will and some people will some people won't accept you or understand or whatever it is um but you have to be yourself and i think adam you know going through um living vicariously through him in a sense and you know learning that the people who do love you and who do care about you will accept regardless of mm -hmm. the understanding and I mean personally that that helped it just it's it's comforting to know that you have those um, support those rock people that you can go to yeah and like I, I like that too right because like regardless if they understand because I think a part of it is that you have to teach your community about yourself mm -hmm. you know maybe a lot of people are, and there's this great scene between um uh, uh, Eli, Claire, and, and Adam, mm. where they have like questions. Yeah. They're like, are you maybe are you lesbian? How do you know? Maybe you're butch. Yeah. Maybe you're the, you know. And, and they wanted to help. They had a, a lot mm -hmm. of questions to answer. I like that scene. Yeah, I like how Adam gets enough uh, gumption to finally tell his friends yeah. and literally speak his mind, you know, and when they do have questions, it's also part of that understanding that they're trying, and that's that's a huge step, the fact that yeah. they're, they're interested, they're trying. I mean, even myself, before taking on this role, I was naive. I just didn't, I didn't know a lot. I wasn't yeah, around people. Which is totally fair, and, right? If yeah. you don't have any FTM friends and you're not in that specific community, How do you, you, know? Would, you wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. um, but learning about Adam, and I mean, now personally, I do know people that are going through similar things, so... It's nice to see it in a in the aspect of this is what I am, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do it because I know I can. And regardless of you know whether I, I think maybe Degrassi gave a little little nudge on that. Yeah. Um, but no, it's so Degrassi great. Degrassi always gives. People, yeah, like Degrassi. <laughs> Degrassi, nu Degrassi nudged me out of the closet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I learned so much through Adam as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I really did. And uh, so, what, you know, with all the knowledge that you gain from the show, and then you're going out into your everyday life, uh, and, and, you know, either meeting fans or just going back to school and all that thing, so, but those experiences, how, how did that feel? You know, because also you had to change your look, too. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely part of the challenging side of playing Adam, was, you know, I had short hair. Um, I was essentially seen as a guy on, yeah. on TV, so all my friends at school and stuff, because I was also in high school, well, Adam was in high school, and, um, you know, I'd have people in the hallways and stuff, like, people are going to say things, yeah. regardless of whether they like it or not, you know, they're going to have to put in their two cents. So, you know, you have people saying, like, oh, hey, dude, or whatever, and, I mean, the amount of bullying that I've had is so minute compared to what people do go through, mm -hmm. and um, if what little bit that I could show through Adam, you know, and I like to put the onus on him as opposed to myself yeah. because it is a character, right? And I'm just trying to portray it without making a mockery of it yeah. in any way. And um, 
I hope that maybe like, you know, what little bit that I could have done to help somebody maybe stop struggling in a certain way or, or maybe show somebody else or help somebody to understand. And I've had a few fans like, you know, say things that it's helped them or like the time that they just so happened to turn the TV on and watch my body yeah. in a cage, you know, that was the right time. They were going through something or, you know, they were bullied and, and Adam was somebody that they could relate to and see grow and build as himself and be confident in who he was. I think it's very empowering for people to see. Absolutely, and I think, you know, there was uh, so many years where people would come up to me because I was playing Marco mm. at the time being like, you need a trans character on the show, you need a trans character right. on the show. And I, I always said, you know, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Um, and I'm really glad it did because mm. it taught me a lot, in, you know, from what you're saying, of course, and I'm, there's no surprise that so many help so many young people. Mm. What, what was your favorite girlfriend that Adam had? Because Adam, Adam had some hot girls. <laughs> Adam got around pretty well, you know. Yeah, he definitely did. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, I, I definitely think that Adam's end game relationship is Becky. I think him and Becky were kind of meant to be. Um, but him and Imogen had some cute moments too. They did. And they had a hot moment. Oh yeah, very a hot, steamy moment. Yeah, that was good. Um, back of a car. Yes. Woo! During daytime <laughs> summer camp. In the rain. Camp. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> During camp. You're like right. all the like you're supposed to be like watching the kids. They're yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Screw this. They're just like falling the into the lake. They're like, let's make out. Yeah. Oh, let's just <laughs> take our tops off and go make out, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. But no, that was that was fun. I mean Christine is great. Yeah. Um so is Sarah, like And that was like a big step for Sarah's character, like Becky. Oh yeah, for sure. Because yeah. like she's super, you know, Christian and happy go lucky and brought up very in a in a certain way and that way has to go, but then when it doesn't, you know, it's kind of cool to see her family and how they handle it. Well, she tried to play with all that politics, right? Like, I can't mm -hmm. date you, I can't date you, and to Adam, and then realizes, I no, I can't change my feelings, mm -hmm. you know? It's not working with all this politics. I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Was I love the relationship. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I was just a big Adam fan. Oh. Okay, let's see how well of an Adam, how well we know Adam, okay? We have an oh, Adam God. trivia. Oh, no. Um, all right, so <laughs> what was the radio show that Adam hosted with <laughs> Dave Turner. What was it called? Mano a Mano. Killed it. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Oh man, do we have a harder one? Do you got a harder one for me, Krista? Maybe I'll think of one that you guys can't. Oh, yeah, okay. that's good. Should be, should you guys both think trivia. too, because I don't know if should I'm gonna- Adam trivia. Um, It's what was hard. his favorite kind of t-shirt? Oh. Plaid. <laughs> Everything he wore was, was, it was plaid. plaid. <laughs> Everything. Like, I'd honestly go for fitting. It would just be like five plaid shirts lined flannel, up and then like flannel, one pair of jeans. Flannel, yeah. flannel, flannel plaid. plaid. Well, he's Canadian. Okay? Uh, very like Canadian. Flannel. <laughs> um, one last question, though, because I'm curious. How was the fan response about, of course, like Adam's tragic ending? Mm. I mean, like, how was that for you? With people tweeting at you, asking you questions? they feel angry like yeah mixed mixed response I mean it's it was mostly the shock of it too yeah. like it, it happened so, so suddenly yeah, yeah. that people didn't believe it like when, wait what, when's Adam gonna be back kind of thing like what's happening and then you know of course it was well why would you leave like oh what are you pregnant <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god I, I heard Is that what they everything thought? I heard that I was like <laughs> pregnant and that I had moved to like some far off place. I don't know. I heard a bunch of like things online, but um, no. The the truth is that you know it's a good storyline that, that course, yeah. needs to be told. It's the number one cause of teen accidents. Well, you know, for a message like that to actually land, I always yes. find that, and I found that with Cam's mm. character as well, right? It's like you have to care about that character. You have to like bond we couldn't with them, just bring yeah. in like you know uh, you know a really small supporting yeah, right, and then and, mm. take them out because we wouldn't feel that impact you mm -hmm. know and it's hard that you got to sacrifice the characters you love to put that message across yeah. you know i love adam he'll always be part of my life in a sense i mean i've learned so much from him that i mean that's that's an experience you won't you won't forget so and uh at least you don't have to wear the flannel anymore that's okay <laughs> or the or the binder the yeah the binder <laughs> that was not fun either what, what, what interesting experiences that's wicked yeah well, thank you. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>
Awesome. Thank you. Cool. That was Thank wicked. You. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh,